Warm-up music aside, there is actually a study that was recently conducted by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, the world's expert on hypertrophy and his laboratory. Yep. And they have illustrated something that most lifters of a certain degree of intelligence level and long time participation uh, have realized. And it's that there are two different kinds of warm up. The general warm up, which is when you go in and you do the elliptical for 15 minutes, maybe you foam roll, maybe you do some dynamic stretching. That's all fine and good. And then there's the specific warm up, which is whatever lift you have first in your program, you do it for about a set of 12 very light weights, a set of 12 with maybe your 30 rep max. Then you do a set of eight after a few minutes of rest with maybe your 20 rep max. Then you do a set of four ish, two to four reps with something like your 10 rep max. Then you rest a little bit and then you're ready to do whatever load. That specific warm up is a very good idea from a variety of perspectives. It warms up your tissues. It makes them more pliable, less likely to get hurt. It also activates and wakes up your nervous system. It aligns your actual muscle fibers more into the direction of pull or whatever exercise you're doing. It um, decreases the sensitivity of what are called Golgi tendon organs, which are detectors in your muscles for how much force is being transduced. And they start out not warmed up by being like, holy shit, that's a lot of force. And they actually tamper down how much your nervous system can activate. After a few warm up sets, you literally are stronger. Which is why you can't cold bar your one rep max. Exactly. 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 You, the GTOs need to kind of cool down. And after a few reps, a few sets of progressively heavier weight, they're like, oh, we're safe. Hey, this is okay. Yeah, it's fine. 